the cross, the symbol of the cross, the story of the cross, this sacrificial offering of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, upon the cross is the heart of Christianity. And it does not, in whatsoever way, intend to glorify pain or encourage inflicting pain upon oneself. By contemplating upon the cross, the symbol of the cross, Christians are not encouraged to inflict pain upon themselves. Rather, the cross is the inspiration to all Christians to learn how to deal with pain, how to endure pain, and how to come uh, out of it victorious and healthy. The cross is an invitation to Christians to learn how to obtain courage. The cross is the symbol that inspires and motivates all Christians and all those that ponder upon the cross to obtain resilience. Through the cross, we are taught the importance of defending our principles even if we have to face pain. The cross is the roadmap of peaceful resistance, a peaceful ways to defeat, to overcome bullies, aggressors, and antagonists. The cross is the art of learning how to build our inner strength, how to gain and maintain our inner calmness. The cross is the revelation of the highest form, the most sacred form of love. The cross is the embodiment of sensing the pains of others, doing something about it without being overwhelmed by our own pain or by the pain that others inflict upon us. The cross is the rejection of the fear mongering. The fear mongering tactics that intend to intimidate us through the fear of pain to back down from defending truth and principles and virtues. The cross, the symbol of the cross is the epitome of what courage means and how to stand up courageously. The Christians that is inspired by the cross is a fearless person. It's a person that never sells out. A person that never sells out out of the fear of pain. The cross is the source of joyfulness that is never taken away from us because life 
or death, gain or loss in Jesus Christ are of equal value. Apostle Paul says, I eagerly expect to have sufficient courage so that Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. He said that in his epistle to the Philippians, chapter 1, verse 20 and 21. In another word, Apostle Paul says, For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Which means, if I live, I live for Christ, and if I die, I gain Christ, and both endings are of equal joy and equal outcome. And based upon that, the fear of pain, the fear of loss, the fear of death does not sway him one way or the other. So, this is the meaning of the symbol of the cross, and this is the meaning of this sacrificial giving that Jesus Christ offered on behalf of the entire world.